Awesome. Thanks, Leslie. Well, look, I um, I have to admit, I am totally unprepared. Um, and I've got a confession to make. Uh, I'm a winger. So I've been winging it uh, all my life, and uh, no one's found me out yet. Uh, probably except for now. <laughs> so... How, how do you spot a winger? There's lots of us out there. Uh, we do operate uh, in the edges. But uh, a winger, you, you, you can sort of often spot them at universities. Uh, and they're the ones that uh, stay up all night. And uh, they do the assignment that was set at the uh, beginning of the term. And uh, they do it on the last day, on the last night. And uh, they have finished typing the last word just before they post it into the uh, assignment box. They're generally always on time, but uh, you know, so why waste time in the build up when you can just do it right at the uh, very end? So, very efficient with time. They can be called on to speak uh, in front of people uh, at a moment's notice. So, uh, no preparation needed. Uh, there seems to be things happening in their brains there and uh, thoughts going on in their brains, probably because they talk to themselves. Uh, and I can attest that's true. I talk to myself through the day all the time. Uh, and uh, there are voices in here that, uh, that just don't shut up. So, um, but they can talk in front of people at a moment, moment's notice and uh, can pull it off like a pro. So sounds like a uh, prepared speech and uh, sounds like they have spent uh, hours uh, practicing it. They also have an answer for everything. And when I mean everything, they've got an answer for everything. Uh, there's no such thing as I don't know uh, or I'll get back to you. Uh, generally a winger is going to be able to answer something on the spot. So, um, and, one, and the trait there is that um, uh, that's, that's really because wingers are, uh, again, always thinking and uh, what comes out of the mouth isn't always uh, the, the, uh, the right thing or the truth, or the, uh, but it is the truth in the moment. So uh, their thoughts, it just goes straight from the head to the, uh, to the mouth. They, um, they do perform exceedingly well under pressure. Uh, the closer the deadline, the better. So if you want to get a winger to really perform well, tell them that it's due in the next hour or tell them that it's uh, due tomorrow and uh, you'll get uh, exceptional uh, results out of them. Any other wingers in the audience? <laughs> oh, there's a few of us, so. <laughs> um, the other thing they do is um, they will read the back cover of a book, you know, just the summary of a book, and be able to get up and teach the contents of the book in front of a room without actually reading the inside uh, covers of it. So, um, so very good at uh, uh, either assimilating information or uh, just uh, getting a concept there and thinking, right, I know what that means, and uh, able to articulate it and be pretty close to uh, what it is. They can also be wildly wrong about it too. Um, a, a winger always has the last word. So uh, if you ever get into an argument or a, uh, a, a debate or a conversation with someone that's a winger, um, they will always have the last word. Even if you want the last word, they've always got the, uh, the next word just to uh, finish things off. So, um, so that's me. I'm a winger. Um, the, um, the other party in a, uh, in a disagreement, um, when they're wrong, um, yeah, a winger can uh, state a position that is uh, totally wrong uh, and um, in fact there's a lot of evidence that uh, it's not right and uh, can convince the other side that in fact it's right. It's got some logic to it uh, and in fact um, you know what appears to be wrong on the surface is in fact actually right. Um, and, um, and so uh, a winger will also do things like deliberately but unintentionally take the opposite side of an argument or, or an opposite point of view. So uh, even if they agree with what you're saying, they will still take the and argue for the uh, opposite point of view. And uh, I know myself, I, I do this all the time. Anyone else do that? <laughs> but I do it all the time and I catch myself in my head thinking, what's coming out of my mouth is actually not my, my view, but it's really interesting sort of arguing it and a really interesting sort of uh, exploring that, uh, that position. So, um, but it's just one of those things that just naturally happens coming out of, out of, out of, out of your mouth uh, is the opposite uh, opinion. So if you really want to have an interesting discussion, just 
create a topic there and state that that's your position and if you're with a winger they will automatically just come up with the opposite of it and you'll have a vibrant uh, discussion. Um, and uh, um, the other interesting thing about it too is that uh, you can ask them one question today and have a discussion today on a topic and uh, a winger like me will take a position that is opposite to your position and be able to uh, argue it and discuss it quite uh, eloquently and then two or three days later you can come back to that person with the uh, position that they held and, uh, and start a conversation with that position and the winger will come back and state what your original position was with absolute conviction. So um, they, they don't actually need to take a position at all. It's like any position is, is actually okay. So, so wingers are often on, you know, often found on school debating teams and uh, speech competitions at school because uh, debating teams are a perfect uh, game because you're taught to take the opposite position. No matter what you believe or what you feel, you take the opposite position. They often make great salespeople as well too. So uh, because it's in the moment and uh, sales is all about uh, questions and answers, objections, um, and uh, you know, finding out reasons why not and find reasons why, they often make really good salespeople. And you, and you hear that, uh, uh, if you ever hear the expression that this person's got the gift of the gab, they're probably a winger. Uh, and the gift of the gab just means they can make stuff up on the spot and they can just talk on the spot. And um, for a profession, uh, they're often told to go into politics or be a lawyer. So I can't count the number of times I've been told I should go into politics. Apart from the thing that uh, I just don't want to be one of those people, um, apparently, uh, so wingers are great in that, uh, uh, in that thing. And I've been tempted on occasions to uh, throw my hat in the ring, but uh, then I came to my senses. So... Now you know sort of how to spot a winger, how do you deal with them? So, and there are some strategies to, um, to deal with uh, wingers. So first thing is, just agree with them. Don't, don't argue with them, just agree. Because uh, you're never gonna win anyway. And uh, if you haven't got time for a, uh, a robust discussion, uh, it's better to, to just agree. Now you don't have to agree with uh, their point or what they're saying. Um, but you know, it's a bit like, uh, uh, as, as, as uh, my partner says, yep, that's good, and she just walks off. And um, so just agree. But just remember, you can always come back at another time and, um, put, uh, and their position, just come back and state it as your position. They'll then argue the opposite, which is what you want them to do anyway. You'll get your way anyway, and you'll, you know, you'll be, be right anyway. So, um, but when you frame it, don't frame it as your position, your opinion. Just frame it as something like, I've just heard someone say this. And, uh, and ask them, what do you think? That's a bit weird, isn't it? That's a bit strange. And, uh, and then you'll, you'll get uh, the opposite position, which is actually your position to, uh, to start with. And, um, and so if, you, if you're in an uh, argument or in a uh, discussion there, a sneaky tactic is to actually come back at another time and uh, don't have the argument right now, just come back two or three days later, just state the uh, wingers, sort of uh, the opposite to the wingers position, just, uh, or just state their position to them and uh, you'll get what you want. So it's just a question of strategy and tactics for uh, you know, when you're dealing with a winger. I'm sort of revealing too much about myself and I'm sort of hoping this isn't going to backfire at all. Um, <laughs> and uh, I wonder who's going to be watching. So um, the other thing is give them a false deadline. If you're really concerned about, uh, say, something like a Her Story conference and uh, you've got the deadline uh, today, tell them that the conference is two days earlier and uh, so they get prepared and then uh, send out an email to say, hey, we've got the dates wrong. It's actually on this other date. So that way, you, you know, that, that, that really is for your own security, not for the security of the winger. The winger's just going to think, oh, I'm over prepared. I've spent all this time preparing. I didn't need to spend all that time doing it. But um, they'll also relax as well too, because it's like, oh, I don't actually need to do anything. I've done it all. So, uh, and they'll just coast through to the, um, uh, to the uh, deadline. The, the other thing too is often you'll get your best work out of a... Um, someone who is good at winging it 
by not giving them lots of time to prepare. So uh, what comes out of the head and off the cuff and just winging it is often better than uh, pre-prepared uh, stuff. The other thing with uh, wingers too, put them into positions of leadership. So they're great leaders, they're great persuaders, uh, and they're really good at getting people to uh, follow their lead. Just have a look in school playgrounds. You'll see some of the wingers there. Have a look at universities and uh, educational institutes. You'll see the wingers there. They're the ones that are organizing people and uh, without seemingly organizing them. They've got lots of uh, friends around them. And, um, but they're also very polar as well too. So they'll have enemies and they'll have friends as well. So, uh, and that's because of the way they operate by stating a position and, uh, and stating the opposite to uh, what someone else says all the time. It's not sometimes, it's all the time. They need help. So just offer it. Don't tell them you're gonna help them, just do it. So sometimes the wingers get overwhelmed, they're procrastinators as well, that sort of goes in together. So if you see that uh, they're struggling and need a bit of help, just step in and uh, give them some help. Don't tell them though, because they don't like that. You'll enter into an argument and uh, they'll tell you why all the reasons why they don't need help. So you just do it. So the world actually needs more wingers. They're, um, they're great thinkers, they're great problem solvers. Uh, and what happens in that mind, that crazy mind of theirs, is they're always asking questions like, what if? Or after a conversation, they also say things like, ah, oh, I should have said that. Here's the best answer to that question. I wish, I wish I'd said this one here. So, uh, and their mind never stops. It's always what if, how, how can we, uh, what would happen if, so it's all of those questions there. They're great persuaders. Um, they get on easily with a lot of people and uh, they are absolute Houdinis at uh, getting out of tricky and awkward situations. They can Make this is your three anything. minute warning, three minutes. Thank you. So, um, so if you put them into conflict, they're great to have in conflict situations uh, because uh, they can uh, quickly and uh, confidently calm a situation down because they get to see both sides of the argument and they can uh, have a third, third uh, side of the argument and they can start to bring people together. So wingers are good to have on your team. They're very adaptable to uh, pretty much any situation um, and they're great on stage. So they're great actors, great performers, uh, and they can put themselves into uh, pretty much any role. They do that anyway. By sort of uh, taking different positions, they are putting themselves in different roles every day. So put them in, onto stage and as performers, you'll get uh, exceptional uh, people on stage. They have a downside, they want to be liked. So even though they're argumentative, they take the opposite position, they actually still want to be liked. And uh, it does sort of upset them when uh, uh, when they're not liked, and that's why they're good at uh, negotiating a conflict, because they want everyone to get along and everybody to uh, like them, and everyone to like each other. And if you want to see, if you if you want to explore the position of somebody else or another point of view, just ask a winger. So before you go into another situation, you can get prepared by just asking a winger. They will give you the opposite side before you really uh, need to. So I admit. I'm a winger. I am not a reformed winger. I am still a winger. I recognize that I'm winging it and uh, I just need to ask and I do ask now and this is part of that getting to that reformation. Is it serving the other people? Is it serving the situation? And is it serving me? So sometimes we just need to stop winging it and uh, just go with the flow. But I am scared that I might be found out. But I guess you all know now, don't you? So I'm a winger. Thank you.